We'll take a look at the sheet metal and weldment improvements for 2017 now. The first one I want to talk about is regarding cuts in sheet metal components. So on screen here we have a sheet metal part with two different shaped rods cutting through it. And as users of the sheet metal functionality you'll know that to achieve this type of result we would need to perform a normal cut. Now I'm just going to change the transparency of these two rods now just so we can take a look at exactly what happens. So over here on the right hand side uh, we create a normal cut uh, as when the sheet metal part is unfolded we want to stamp straight through it or punch straight through it to achieve that cut result. So what the software does in the background when we tick on the normal cut option is it will take the profile that we're using to create the cut, it will project it onto the first face and then it will project it onto the underside face and then it will create a cut uh, joining those two elements normal to uh, the faces. Now in certain situations what we would end up with is extra material. So you'll see here that we actually end up with this little area uh, where the two profiles cross over and the system doesn't do a very good job uh, of actually clearancing that out. The same happens over here on a cylindrical cut, as you'll see, or elliptical as it actually is. Now SOLIDWORKS have addressed this in 2017, so if we go ahead and open this particular component, we'll modify the cut example, and new for 2017 is the ability to optimise the geometry when the normal cut option is used. So what this will actually do is it look at areas of conflict or extra material be, uh, being added and it will actually rectify those situations. So a really nice improvement to that particular functionality. Now over on a different example here we have a sheet metal part where we have three uh, sheet metal folds joining within a corner. Now, in previous releases, we could apply corner relief to those corners, but only for two bend corners. We see now in 2017, the support has been expanded for three bend corner reliefs. So if we select the sheet metal body within the scope, uh, we can choose the option to collect all corners and it will collect all those corners. And we can then define specifically at each corner, the type of corner relief that we want. So here you'll see we have a circular one, but rectangular, tear, ob round, constant width, and full round are available within the tool as well. So if we open a drawing for this component, we can see each of the corner relief options in a little bit more detail and how they appear within the flat pattern. So you'll see circular, rectangular with filleted corners, the tear option, the full round, and the rectangular option available to us there. Now the final update that I want to focus on is on welded frameworks. So those of you who use the weldment functionality in SOLIDWORKS will be fully aware of the cut list here. So the cut list actually organizes any elements created with the structural member tool and of the same physical length into a specific cut list folder. So you'll see here that I have three elements created with structural member tools using a similar profile of 40 by 40 by 4 but there are three different lengths in this design so hence we have three different folders within the cut list. Now to create a structural member tool we need a sketch uh, path and then we create or route a profile along that path. But sometimes you may want to create a profile in a slightly different way. So for example here it may be quicker for us to grab hold of the actual external loop of this structural member and convert the entities and then perform an extrude out of that, let's say. So we'll make this 400mm long. So when we do something like that, the cut list doesn't recognise that as a profile that has been created with a structural member tool. So it actually lists it in a separate folder here that doesn't contain the descriptive information that we might need. Now if I take a look at this edge here, you'll see that's 400mm long and this one's 400mm long. So the ideal scenario for us is that this structural member is included within this folder. In previous releases of SOLIDWORKS this was impossible. But now, within 2017, we have a new option for cut list sorting. So if we toggle on the option to 
collect identical bodies, the system actually looks geometrically at the objects rather than how they're created and can categorize those correctly. Now this functionality goes a little bit further as well. Let's say for argument's sake uh, I decide to cut a hole in this all the way through like so. Because of the cutlist sorting options the system breaks this out and sees it as being geometrically different to the entities contained within this folder here. But from a manufacturing perspective, we'd want to cut all these elements and this one at the same length and then apply the cut operation after they'd been uh, cut to size. So realistically, we might want to include that in this folder here. Again, in previous releases, we couldn't do that. But now with the cut list sorting options, we can specify some faces to exclude, i.e. these holes. And if we do that, the system completely ignores those and still categorizes that structural member into the correct folder. So much more flexibility in, in terms of how we control the cut list sorting. So we've seen some changes to the normal cut option, the three bend corner relief, uh, the cut list sorting by geometry. There's two other elements as well. The default behavior options are more controllable within tools options for sheet metal parts. And convert to sheet metal has seen some improvements in reliability. And also it's less likely to create relief cuts uh, when they're not needed. <laughs>